guys, Sean here at Mahalo.com. Today I'll be talking to you about the game restriction settings inside of Windows Live Family Safety. As a gamer myself, I really hate to say the phrase gaming restrictions, but for this video we'll call it permissions and rating settings. So let's go check it out. Now if you want to set up your game ratings and permission levels, you can simply click on game restrictions here from the main menu or game restrictions here on the right. Once we click on game restrictions, this takes us to the main screen where we can decide what level the account is allowed to play at. And when deciding a game ratings level, you should know the ratings that you're selecting. In the description of each rating, it tells you what would be included within that title. And you can think of this as everyone, PG, PG-13, Rated R, and NC-17 if you wanted to break it down. Although these ratings will change per area. So for United States, you'll be looking at the ESRB which is known as the Entertainment Software Ratings Board. If you're in a different region, you can simply click on Use Different Game Rating System, then click Yes. Then from here, we can change the rating system to the area that we're at. If you're in Europe or the UK, you'll be using a PEGI system versus the ESRB. The games you'll be looking at and installing over there will be based off of the PEGI rating system. Although, here in the United States, we'll just be using the ESRB. So once you have that selected, hit Save. And then we also have another box here that's allow games that are not rated. Also, at the very bottom, you can allow and block specific games. Like for instance, if we think the it's okay for the account to play every game, although we might want to block StarCraft too. And one thing to think about this game is it's a teen rated game, so you'll find some vulgar language and violence. And remember, whenever you leave the screen, just make sure you save. It's just that simple and easy to set up game restrictions on the account you have inside of Windows Live Family Safety. If you'd like to stay connected to this course, make sure you subscribe and feel free to rate and comment below. And like always, thanks for watching.